Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we will talk about auto routing. So, in order to auto, auto route this design, you can simply let's place it here in the middle. Okay, you can simply go to route, then choose auto routing. As you can see, you can choose what you want to auto route, but we want all. And here, as you can see, uh, we have few errors that we need to solve for auto routing. It's saying that RA2 and C8 and C7 appears to be unroutable because uh, some items might block their or block their way. So let's go on to this design area. Let's see the errors again so that we can solve them. Root, auto root all. So we have these errors RA2 um, C8 C7 so let's start by going to RA2 this is RA1 okay let's take a quick look to see where is RA2 let's hide the top layer now we have these items. Okay, this is the FTDI. This is the first resistor array. Okay, this is not what we want. Let's take a quick look to see. Where is the RA2? So let's move this out of the way. This is a capacitor. Okay. What is this? This is the switch. So want be a problem for us so let's move these items this is the RA1 okay RA2 is below RA1 now we need to return all of these to their original location let's rotate it and try to place it somewhere else let's say here let's return this item here Okay, we have error. We need to change this item location. Again, we have error. There is no much space as you can see because. Okay, 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 okay. As long as you see green lines, this means that this is. Okay, let me move this. Then let's search for another location for RA2. And now let's move this here. Now, if we want here, you can see that we have another error here at this area. Okay. Now, let's go back here and move these items a little bit here let's move these okay 
now this is the last item let's move it here let's take this okay now we only have few items that need to be placed correctly now the error that we have is here now this I see is uh, making all of these errors let's move this capacitor let's move this IC here Object S after being destroyed, exception has shrunk. Okay. Now let's add this item here. Let's compile our BCB project. Don't have any errors. Update schematic. Close. Okay. Now let's rotate this and add it here. We have very little space, so we have to work with what we have. Now click root to see if there is other errors. Hint errors and warning zero errors and zero warning. There is one hint but we will go with this now what we need to do is simply um, clicking root all to see what will happen here it will take a minute or two depending on your computer specifications to create the auto routing between these layers as you can see it's auto routing now It's routing, uh, auto routing in multiple layers, so uh, this should be obvious. As you can see, it's creating pads here to move the lines from one layer to the next. So, again, it will take some time. Let me increase the speed of my computer, put in high performance to speed up this process. Okay, let's go back to see what's what happens as you can see it's routing all of these items uh, there is multiple lines each with a uh, distinct color As you can see here, you can see how my number of connections it's making. It's saying here that 63 of 93 connections routed, 67% completion rate in 1 minute and 51 seconds. So it's proceeding. As I mentioned, it's uh, a smart software, so it will find its way. But at the end, you might have some errors that you need to... Uh, manually root or manually correct after the auto routing so you need to clear all the errors which we will explain in a separated lesson but for now we'll just 
examine the auto routing of this software and wait until it's finished It's trying different uh, methods and different routing lines, different paths to get the best routing for you. So don't worry, just uh, click the auto route tool and let it start routing until it's finished. It might take up to five minutes. So I'll have to pause this video and get back to you so that I won't waste more of your time. Okay, now the auto-routing has finished, but as you can see here, it will, it's failed to complete 25 connections. Next lesson, we'll talk about how you can prove the auto-routing to uh, make all of these connections, even the 25 that it couldn't auto-route because it was blocked or because the line for auto-routing was uh, thick, so it couldn't pass between these components. That will be in a separated lesson, but that's it for auto routing. This is how you can initiate the auto routing process. Uh, we'll talk in a separate lesson about how to improve the auto routing and how to get the most out of it and how to solve the errors that result from auto routing. But that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any question about auto routing, please ask in the Q&A board.